Hey guys, Board Outlaw here, and with another episode of State of Decay. We're going to be continuing right where I left off last time, uh, and we have a mission to go do something that has something to do with zombies, and we're going to kill some shit, and we're going to blow up some cars, and we're going to do some drugs that we find, and find some weapons, and shoot some shit, and probably die in the process so without further ado let's go ahead and get this started yeah so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna switch characters I figured this out here she's hurt she's about to die she refuses to take medicine so we're gonna switch uh, Carlos here or whatever the hell his name is and we're gonna go kick some ass. First, let's find out what kind of goodies he's got here. He's got a shotgun and a revolver. Shotgun is obviously zombie apocalypse. You automatically think of shotgun because, let's face it, you're going for the head, you're not possibly gonna fucking miss when it comes to his shoddy. He has a pry bar. Uh, we got the sledgehammer, and we we got all the same shit essentially. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch out. Um, actually, I'm gonna keep the pry bar. Let me see how fast it attacks here. And that's not bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep the pry bar. And check on the map, see where the heck we're going. And we have a stranded soldier. We have a stranded soldier and. An interception of a horde here. Let's go take care of those. Yeah. I know I've been acting a goofy, guys, but... But I really do. I love games like this. There's nothing more that makes me happy. I mean, happier than just to sit down and here. just... Play a good... You know, zombie, post-apocalyptic... Uh, horror survival game. They're always amazing are always fun as long as they have some really good mechanics set up in the game some good gra decent graphics because a lot of times in video games graphics don't really they don't you know bother me much as long as the gameplay is amazing and it has a good quality story now I know this game lacks in story but what it makes up for in is a huge open world lots of Zombie, ass kicking, cool cars, and some decent dialogue. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I delivered. I delivered the package. Let's go find this soldier in need. This lookout point right there. Let's see what's going on at the camp here. Uh, okay. Toilet. Okay, so we got a toilet. We got training room, apparently. Alright. These are our main gates. What do we need here? Um. We don't want none of that. What is this? Thinner defenses. I don't know what any of this is. Plant mines. Set of fireworks. Place propane tanks. Restock the wall. Um. For let's go ahead and do all and let's do the same over here, which is going to leave us completely and utterly empty. Which means I need to go to the radio tower. I have no actions available for the radio tower, of course not. Um, uh, maybe we should build a toilet because we don't have any. Um, 
Yeah, let's build a toilet. Okay. And here we we have a bunk. Set up barracks. Eight. Set up a medic place. Mm, yeah, we didn't have one. Okay, so what the fuck was that? That sounded terrifying. The fuck do I hear Godzilla? Sergeant Carlos isn't afraid, man. Sergeant Carlos eats Godzilla for tacos. He dips him in the salsa, and he eats him whole. I don't know if you've heard about the Carlos. That is what they call me in whatever Latino country I'm from. They called me the Carlos. Not Carlos, the Carlos. And no, not Dick Carlos, but the Carlos. I've got some friends to save. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry, guys. I'm so st I'm such a badass that sometimes I just need to wreck a car. We have our first caller. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your situation. Just to let me know how madly I really am. A few before they boxed us what the fuck is that? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna back up a little bit because die. fuck that man. Okay. Fuck this man. We yeah, you run better run. Everything runs they're from that Carlos. I ain't got no beans for you, man. I agree, but it's not that simple. We have orders. We can't just extract whoever we want. Actually, there's no back exit. Oh, fuck. Did I just get the car stuck? These things are fucking terrifying, dude. That's okay. The Carlos isn't scared. Shut the door because the Carlos is uh, just a little scared, <laughs> but just a little bit, not a whole lot. What's your status? We're all that's left of our unit. We could use some orders, sir. Come fucking with me, man. I'm terrified out here. I mean, I'm the Carlos. Come with me if you want to leave. Oh great, y'all ain't got shit. There's a lot of scary shit happening. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here before whatever that fucking thing is comes looking for us. Come on, guys. I ain't fucking with that. Fuck that shit. side don't we because that's the law <laughs> pop flips or not oh shit that was a bad idea okay let's go ahead and let's drive on this side why because the Carlos commands it the Carlos knows best guys trust the Carlos okay that was our exit
The Carlos does this on purpose. He drives like a maniac to test how strong he is. What's the problem? Glad I didn't shoot that. That's a fucking propane tank. That'd have killed all of us! There's propane tanks everywhere. Holy sh... Holy guacamole! Alright, this ain't the Hilton. Secure your trash and see ops for your duty assignments. Duty. He said duty. Alright, well what's my assignment? Boss? More stranded refugees, okay. And what are you? And they said zombie horde. I'm gonna stay away from you. I'm gonna go get some more people to watch my back. <laughs> oh man. It's not because the Carlos is scared. It is because the Carlos does not want to hurt these people just in case they can be saved. If the Carlos has to, he will roll them. Fuck! The fuck, bro? You see? The Carlos is not one to be fucked with. He makes zombies poop their pants. Did I leave someone behind her or something? Cause that seems like the same area I was just at. Is it right here? Yeah, it seems like this is my exit. This is the same area! this dude what the fuck oh my god where the fuck is a road I don't understand. Seriously, how the f Oh my god, that sounds terrible. <laughs> fuck did they expect me to get over to this guy? From the sounds of shit, dude, it sounds like this motherfucker's dead anyways. Like, what the fuck? I'm out of gas. I'm out of fucking hope. Okay. We have a caller. Why don't you tell us your situation? Look, when I thought this was all gonna pass, I, mean, are you a survivor? I sort of looted some stuff from the grocery store. <laughs> now the wolf's Lord. fucked, and I've got way too much stuff. It's yours if you come pick me up. Okay. Hold on there, baby. <laughs> I'm coming back for you. I'm coming back for you in a minute. <laughs> and I can put my beef in your burrito if you know what I mean. And we can make little Where? ugly babies. Oh, 
just what I needed. Let's take one of these, nice. I'll take that. What you got in here? Because if you're in a place, you might as well take all their shit, right? <laughs> well, I mean, because why the fuck not? Some wrenches. Okay. I'm over. I, I'm encumbered. I'm with the U.S. Army. Snap out We're of here it. To pull you out. What, and just leave them here to be food for those? Lower your voice. They're fucking That's dead. Right Come now. on, lady. Your family wouldn't want you to die. So this is my life now. You've got nice cleavage. Don't worry. Let's go. We'll make good use of you. You made a wise choice. Come on, baby. Because we're off on the road, going for a ride. And when I get you home, I'm gonna get inside of that bed, I mean. Because we need more girls where we're at. They can't be just middle cuz I'm fat. And when we eat tacos, you know what I mean. I don't do drugs, but I play video game. Yeah, that's right. I get those munchies, man. But not those drug munchies. I get those video game munchies. You know what I mean? Does anybody know what I mean out there? Yeah! Ay -ay -ay. Come on, bitch. Okay, you know what? I do not condone absolutely anyone out there nice. calling a female bitch, okay? It's the only reason I'm saying it because I've actually so had a few drinks and I apologize. I am being honest. Low. We didn't exactly you should always be respectful to females. They are beautiful. <laughs> Smell wonderful. Look wonderful. Taste we wonderful. We have an urgent request for backup. I'm sending the coordinates. Females all together are just freaking amazing. And you treat them with both respect, decency, and you spoil them and they will give you the world. And with that being said, and this is a good stopping off point. Uh, so, hit the like button if you want me to keep on playing this, uh, game. If not, just let me know in the comments what you think. So, without further ado, this is Board Outlaw. Until next time, guys, you have a wonderful day.